Hello everybody and welcome back to the Throwback Gaming Lobby. Be sure to grab some popcorn, kick back and relax because the lobby is open and that means it's time for a brand new video. And in this video we're going to be continuing with our Gex 64 Let's Play and picking up the progress we left off with. And in the last video we finished off the Smell Razor level and you guys didn't see this but after you get three red remotes in any order no matter what, you unlock the first boss level, which is called Gilligax Isle. And we're going to do that level, and I'm going to start off with the second world, which is the Out of Tune TV, if we have enough time in this video, which we should. And I'm going to go through both of those levels. We should be able to have time for all three remotes. Now, the first level we're going to do here, the Gilligax Isle. That is the boss, and you cannot do the boss of this area until you get three red remotes. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the TV. And obviously hit blue fireballs to beat the Tiki boss. Gilligax Isle is... The name is obviously based on Gilligan's Island, which was a hit TV uh, series, I believe, in the 70s. Uh, I'd have to fact check that. And you can see Gex is dressed like Gilligan. Oh, I missed... So yeah, you want to get these blue fireballs and just take out the, uh, the tiki guys, but obviously you have to, like, line them up perfectly. Like, I should be able to... Nope. I'm still off. Nope. Alright. Yeah, you have to line up. It's taking me a little bit longer than usual, but... Alright. Nope, I'm still missing. Let's see. Alright, that should get him. Oh! Nope, it didn't get him. How am I missing? That'll get him. And then I'll go right over here. Oh. Nah. Oh, he, yeah, he moves over. The last one moves. Alright. That should do it. Yep, there we go. Alright, so that was a pretty simple boss level. That's actually the very easiest out of all of them. And that's a good way to introduce the uh, boss fight. So you get the gold remote as you can see and you're gonna need those to open up the uh the gates that will take you into the next area which now that we've done gilligax isle we're gonna do area two but we're not gonna go there just yet we're gonna finish off area one so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that um now obviously if you have this game you can start either way but i started off with Smell Razor, we're gonna go to Out of Tune, and there are three missions here. We might not have time for all three, but I'll at least show you uh, the Teetering Rock mission, which is the very first one. That's the longest one, I guess. Jump to the Teetering Rock. So this is, and it should go without saying, this is actually based on Looney Tunes. This world, it's been, and hence the name Tune TV. So you're going to see a lot of, you know, wacky things going on here. Now, of course, as always, you want to remember to grab the uh, the collectibles. And the very first one you're going to see is carrots. Obviously, after Bugs Bunny, because that's what he ate. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool moving features in this level, like the bouncing trees. And it gives it that, like, wacky, cartoony feel. So I'm just kind of kind of speed running to get the collectibles here because I don't want to spend too much time on that. And flowers that can beat you up with mallets. That's a, that's a pretty unique one. Uh, so, oh. Alright, let's just go ahead and grab some more carrots. And I'll show you guys the hidden remote too because it's easy to find. So the hidden remote, all you have to do really is from this starting point, you want to go right over nope you don't want to fall <sighs> definitely don't want to fall hard head area yep watch out for those things that fall on you and you want to jump up here past these rainbows and you want to walk the sideline and you're gonna see if i walk over here there's a little ice rink you want to try to grab the cans if you can thing is you can't jump when you're on that ice oh almost fell and there you go. There's a hidden remote. 
It's very easy to find and very easy to miss all at the same time. Believe it or not, the first time I played this game and I was looking for all of them, this was the one that actually took me the longest, not because it was so hard, but because I just couldn't really figure out exactly um, where it was, and I was overthinking it, and I tend to do that a lot in these kinds of Let's Plays. But I digress. So, we've got the hidden remote, now we're going to continue moving on to the Teetering Rock. And this is just because it's, it takes the longest. I can actually do the last two missions in the next video because it really won't take long to do but this mission kind of does take a little bit of time and i'm going for the reward and uh the hidden remotes here so that's why it's taking a little bit more time than it normally would i would have already probably been to the little canyon area where you get the teetering rock mission so getting these collectibles is there a mushroom down there yes there is all right and grab these and as you can see the sign, it says Wabbit Season, which is, of course, a callback to um, the Looney Tunes days of old for all of you 80s and 90s babies out there that remember that, and probably a lot further back than that, because Looney Tunes is a lot older than that. But um, that's, of course, a call to Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny's hunting days and the Looney Tunes. And you got to respect the classics. That's part of the whole... Uh, throwback vibe we got going on here and guys make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video down below if you're new uh definitely want to spread these uh out as much as i can so there's a hunter that's shooting at me and that's a mission we're gonna do in the next video by the way we'll take care of him later but i'm not really concerned with him right it right now i'm concerned with getting the uh the reward remote and in order to do that you need to get as many of these collectible oh i fell collectibles as you can and this camera makes it so easy to fall but uh okay that was stupid of me let me just go ahead and grab a health right there i saw that tv and the green tvs if i didn't already explain it that's your health in the game um and they've kept that the same for all of the gex series by the way i believe it was the same thing in uh, Gex number one, and I know it's the same in uh, Gex number three. Um, and in case you missed it in my last video, I am playing Gex number two, technically. Um, okay, so get through all that, and now we're going to go over here. And there's a checkpoint TV, and I don't know if I... I don't think I showed you guys the checkpoint TV in my last video. I might have. But this black and white checkered TV is a checkpoint. And we just got the reward remote, so that's all set. And that's probably also going to unlock another level, but I'll keep an eye. I fell. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, and this area is really easy to fall off of, by the way. So, just make sure to. Yeah, that wind will knock you down easily. Um, I'm just getting hurt by things. I need to be careful. some of these okay this is getting ridiculous i can't die on this level it's way too easy and i feel a little silly so this is the teetering rock area this is where you need to go it's a lot of just running in a big circle basically now once you get up there there's a the teetering rock right there and but i think we're gonna call it right there guys for this video um if you guys like what you saw please make sure like i said before to hit that subscribe button if you're new like the video leave a comment down below and with that being said have a great night and as always stay humble